got rain coming. Because I was kind of in a hurry to just get it done. My shoulder was really hurting me. It's about five foot thick pile of wood chips. If I were to actually dig down to the very bottom, probably. This used to be a big deep hole here. Wood and leaving wood and moving wood. That's more rental. That's more spending more money. The problem is the more, more we increase production, uh, the more behind we get. <clears throat> but it's a matter of patience. So it goes from the wood pile to here. It's like 95 degrees out. Pretty warm. The work. It's just nasty out. It's so hot. Bye, and then all my stuff disappeared. <laughs> Uh, been buried or taken or whatever and it's kind of that we're in that free-for-all nature with this whole thing about to take a fuel so far bar still kicking I'm just adding, I'm adding heat and stress to this thing. You can see it's really starting to bend out of shape. It's, it's just fighting its whole way through and you can feel it in the saw too. I mean, it's running, it's starting to run rough, but since it's cutting pretty good, uh, you know, it's getting, it's getting my, fi my piles of firewood cut. Uh, I figure I'd just keep going. I'm waiting for it to break. Usually they don't hold out this long. Two tanks of gas. Pretty much all the hardwood laying on the ground here has been cut. This dang thing just keeps going. There's snakes everywhere. You see that one got squished. I don't even know where that came from. The saw is hot. The chain is very hot. Very hot to the touch. It actually burns. Burns some skin off my fingers when I grab onto it to turn it and there it is yeah you can see it's this glazed my finger right over that's it's that high I gotta let it cool down give it a sharpen I'm back with that <clears throat> broken chain <clears throat> sharpened it did some other things today and uh, now I gotta sharpen up 
pretty aggressively. You see the gullet's pretty, pretty strong, pretty deep on them. Uh, hopefully I'll break it this time. I'm really trying to break it. I want to see it. I want to see how long it takes to break it. Uh, now we're uh, into the next phase of this. I'm going to cut up some softwoods here. tank of gas that chain stole is not breaking so far got all this got all that that I've made some cuts over here when it was broke okay so now we're uh, moving on to carving something <clears throat> Just playing with carving a big eagle here. It's gonna be my mailbox holder. We're gonna see if I can kill that chain today. I don't know. killed it oh, man that thing's hot all right so you guys saw you saw right there for your own eyes every time that could be potentially dangerous is if you're cutting if you're holding up here uh, it, it went me in my right in my belly just came back it just wow but like I said I've never I've never seen a chain go flying off a saw or being dangerously, I mean, yeah, these little guys, they could hit you in the face if you're up there. Uh, but yeah, there it is. We killed it. Right there on the eagle. Right as we were getting the, right as we were trying to get the beak done. Right there, there's the snap. So that that was a lot of cutting. I mean, I must say I'm uh, pretty impressed. 
by that. As crappy as these chains are, that thing held together. That thing held together forever. I just couldn't break it. I was trying. You saw, I cut all that stuff. Well, now it's time to change bars and chains, I guess. That's about as wild as I've had a chain get on me when it broke. And only because I was in the line of fire. I wouldn't recommend going and running chains that are like that. And I would definitely recommend always check your chains. Uh, make sure that they don't have brakes like that in them because if you are holding that saw up, I mean it, it did come back with some force. It could have it could have left a mark on my face or my neck. So I guess that was kind of the point of this video is uh, you know you, you get into that and
some stuff together. Got my toilet paper roll, holder, canoe bear. This is a junk wood. This is a piece of junk wood. I'm gonna carve a little face in it. It is hot. It is very hot. Yeah, it's breezy, but very hot. I can't believe how quick this thing is drinking gas. Look at that. That's why you guys want to be careful when you open a can. Look at all that coming out. This heat. That's why you want those ones with the vent you can push before you start pouring. Ripping right through these wings real quick. Do I gotta? I gotta be to work in the morning. See if I can adjust the camera. Make our feather lines first, and then we go in and cut them to look 3D. And then we cut the bottoms to make them look rounder. Kind of like so. We can get this guy to stay up. Kind of like so, you see. You see, it actually gives a, a feather, feather pattern effect of a wing. I think it's got to go right there. And
I'm trying to get this in there. <clears throat> trying to beat the rain. Almost in now. There I get to see it, and I think it's pretty damn cool. But it's not in there real tight. say so myself. It's all right. It's pretty damn set in there, ain't it? And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna 